Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers. In today's episode we're going to take a little look at an Atco 14S cylinder mower. Um, this machine did appear in a video a little while ago where I got the machine running after doing a carburetor clean on the Tilliston carburetor. Um, this machine works A1, it starts, runs, does everything it should do, the drive works beautiful but however when you not we don't engage the drive and you, you go just to push a machine, it clicks, grinds and mucks about and this is quite a common fault with these. I have been battling with this fault for quite a while and um, in one of my live streams on Saturday night, Chiselhurst Motor said that they actually do an upgraded um, bracket on the um, Atco bow moral suffolk punches and that tends to get rid of a problem. So I've bought a piece in, the spare part in, brand new. Um, I'm going to put a new pinion gear in as well just, just to make sure it's okay and hopefully that will then cure this clicking grinding noise. Now so far I've done videos on how to remove um, ring gears, pinion gears, all that sort of stuff and but I'm hoping this is actually going to fix the problem and going forward this would be my, my sort of standard fix on this um, if it becomes successful. This machine I'm hoping has actually sold at six o'clock tonight with a bit of luck but I can't really sell it with this clicking grinding noise going on when you push the machine because the new owner is going to spot it. Um, so hopefully it'll do it. If this is the first time you're watching Mixed Mowers, hit your subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let's try and sort out this clicking, grinding, crunching noise coming from this Atco 14S cylinder mower. Right, I'm not going to go outside because it's absolutely lashing down with rain. I've took the side cover off the side of this machine um, just so I can sort of have a quick visual what, what's happening when I push it. But when you push it full uh, backwards, it goes backwards with absolutely no problems whatsoever. Okay, but when you go push it forwards, you're getting this grinding noise happening. And that's the problem I want to sort out. Now the drive does actually work and it works beautifully, okay? Um, but when you go to push it forwards, which is, what, which is what you want to do, across your lawn, it's grinding, okay? So I'm hoping the new um, part will uh, sort this issue out. Let's get it up on the bench, it's no light thing. Get it up on the bench and uh, we'll start taking it apart and fit this new part. Okay, so here's the, um, the side exposed. Literally just the side cover comes off. One screw here, screw here, screw here, screw here side cover comes off and that sort of exposes your uh, your side assembly. I want to remove number one off the bat, 10 mil socket, a 10 mil spanner required. I want to remove this little tiny drive uh, cylinder pulley just here. I'll take that off because this, this is the one we want to get to. This cookie just here. You can remove that pull if you if you wish to do so. Like so, take the belt off, that can come off. These gears are fine as you can see, they're in good condition, uh, don't, need, don't need replacing, and the cylinder moves freely as well, so that's good. I want to remove this little tiny nut off of here. To remove this, um, this drive um, roller, what you want to do, oh, the, the pulley, is put a, an allen key or something in here behind this bracket and that, that'll then pin it off so it doesn't move. Get a breaker bar or socket, whatever you've got, and just literally loosen that off. And by putting the allen key in, we'll actually lock it off into place, okay? Once you've got it spinning, you'll be away like Julio. And that is actually your pinion gear. Take the washer off and the nut off. And then you better slide that pulley out, okay? Now this one here hasn't actually been given the uh, the upgrade as of yet. Let me get the part and I'll show what the upgraded part looks like. Okay, so here's the upgraded part. Um, it goes on, as you see by this bit here, it's just got one, one um, triangular shaped part that, that the pinion gear sits in. And this is the new upgraded part that we do. It's been around for a little while. Um, but that part will, will replace this part here, okay? And the part number for that is, um, let me have a look here. Let me try and find it. It normally starts with an F, normally. I can't find it on here, it's not actually showing it, I don't think. Uh, it's got my name on it, pinion gear assembly. I'll, uh, I'll put the, the um, part number actually in the, in the um, 
comment section, okay? <clears throat> so what you want to do, uh, Phillips screwdrivers, one, two, three, one, two, three of those, and a little 10 mil nut here, and all of that's going to then go onto there like so. That's all we're doing, okay? But look at the play here, look. Look at that play. And that's because um, it's a bit slack Alice in there. So we're going to remove this one first, which would be the pinion gear. Now, I haven't had this apart on this one. So we're going to remove these three Allen keys. Uh, three Phillips, sorry. And it'd be interesting to see what state the pinion gear's in. So we retract this part here with the pinion gear on it. It's all greased up. And the pinion gear actually is in good condition. It's all right. There's nothing wrong about pinion gear. But we put a new one in anyway, okay? Not going to muck about. We can now loosen off these three as well. Now the roller will drop, okay? So just bear that in mind. And you have the coarser thread screws go on the bottom and the thinner thread screws go on the top. And you want about a half inch nut to remove that there. It's about half inch. That's it. I'm gonna loosen that off. Take all the gubbins out. And then we're now going to install this new part here. Okay, with it all removed, what you now want to do is get your pinion gear, which can be found on, I think they're Amazon for about 11 quid. Okay, here's your pinion gear. And here's your new part here. I'll put the uh, part number to this um, in the comment section later on. Get a bit of grease. High temperature grease is what you want. And you want, just want to put a little bit on the shaft, not a great deal. And then have a good smear on the actual pinion gear itself. Because this is what's going to be run against the ring gear inside. I don't like working with grease. I hate working with grease. It gets everywhere, doesn't it? Oh, I hate it. A bit on that shaft there. Let me just put that up there. I'll wipe my hands off. And get your pinion gear. Slide your pinion gear into the new housing. Like so. And now, you can now slide your pinion gear in all in place. And what do we say? We said fine, we said coarse threads at the bottom. We'll get them ones in before that roller drops. We want the fine threads up the top and just start to wind all them home. Okay, fine threads up the top and coarse threads down bottom. I'll just nick them up for now, just get them all into place. Now, if you find it still does this, Afterwards, it may be that your ring gear has got a lot of grease in there and it's actually jumping on the pinion gear. So you may have to remove the roller, <clears throat> which I've shown in another video. You may have to remove the roller and just clean, give your give your ring gear a bit of a clean, a bit of, bit of a petrol white spirit, just to clean your ring gear up. So we're going to do these screws up. Like so. Now these are all slack on when I took it off the other machine, wasn't it? All slack when I, I come to look at it the other day, or the other, earlier on in the video. These weren't doing up at all. Which obviously was a contributive factor. Right, they're all in. A little tiny washer there, spring washer. 
and a little tiny half inch nut. That goes onto there. We're going to do that up. Not too tight. Just tight enough. A quick slurp of the old coffee. Lovely. Right, with that done, we can now um, put on top your, your pulley. And this will only go on one way. Because this has got this has got threads, threads only on, on one side or two sides of it. So it has to go on one way only. And it go on just like that. Make sure it belts in place. It is. You then want to get your um, your washer and your locking nut. And you want to zap that up. Get your uh, your Allen key <coughs> and your big socket. Good. We can then get your intermediate gear pulley to your cylinder, slip the belt on. Like so. Get your belt guard. Slide him round. That sits on over there. Somehow. A little ten mil. All right, I'm going to give us a quick little blow off. That should be done by now. So what we now do is I'll get it on the floor. So it is absolutely lashing down outside. There's no sense in doing it outside. Um, but that's how you convert that over. So I'll uh, get it up on the floor, I'll get it down on the floor, and then um, we'll just test that, see if we can't push it in both directions without it crunching and grinding. I've got a quick blow off as well, because it's a bit dirty in there, and then uh, we'll go from there. Right, that's our camera set up. Right, so here we go now, I haven't tried it yet. Um, so beforehand, we had, we had a problem when uh, we pulled it forwards. So pulling it backwards, nice and smooth action. Pushing it forwards, nice and smooth action. And that's what you're after. So that is where lots of these drive problems occur with these, uh, these machines not having the upgraded kit. So just want to double check the drive works. As I say, this machine is now sold. So there's petrol in it. Let's choke it. Give it a bit of rabbit. That'll do. Okay, so that's the repair done on the Atco Balmoral. Now, I've done two or three videos on these, and um, now I'm confident that uh, the repair is successful, okay? So what you're looking for is to replace, I would say the pinion gear. If you're gonna do, do this job anyway, it's gonna pay to do the pinion gear, because the pinion gear runs inside this, this, this brass bushing, okay? Um, this is the old, the old style kit. If I can get it off, I can get it off just by my hand. So that's the old kit, okay, um, just there. And you want the newer kit, which is upgraded. And you can get off of Amazon, that's where I got mine from, next day delivery. Let me get this grease off my hands. I hate working with grease. Uh, just to check on my phone. Here you go. Right, the part number, it only costs 14 99 for the part itself, okay? And um, the part number is, are you ready to get a pen? I'll wait for you to get a pen. Got a pen? A bit of paper, right. Uh, it is Foxtrot 01610321. I'll repeat that for you. 
Foxtrot 01610-3210. That's the part number you require, the actual bracket itself. And then of course, you're gonna want the pinion gear which you can find again on Amazon as well, and sort of next day delivery, which is which comes under Quocast Classic 35S pinion gear and drive shaft. There's no um, number for it, but it looks like that on Amazon, and that's 11 pound. So you're talking about 23 quid, 24 quid, somewhere in that in that region for for that fix to happen. Okay, I think I just wiped grease on my nose. Um, in my opinion, the ring gear doesn't need doing. Um, unless you want to just, just take the ring gear off, and you'll see that in one of my other videos. Um, take the ring gear off, get a little um, standing knife or something, and just, just scrape all the grease and gunk out of it, clean it with petrol, put it back. They're aluminium, so that generally they, they don't wear out, okay? But that um, upgrade, thank you very much, Chiselhurst Motors, for um, putting me onto that. Um, that's what YouTube's all about. They put me onto it and said that generally that, that fixes it. So it's actually the bushing and the movement within this, this aluminium plate. So do the upgrade. Um, that probably takes around about 15, 20 minutes, and all you need is um, a 19 mil socket or spanner, um, an Allen key, a Phillips screwdriver, a bit of grease, and pff, job's easy, easy enough done. So you can do it with your home, with your tools you've got at home. You don't have to take it into, into a dealer to have it done. You can do it yourself. But that should pretty much guarantee your repair on your machine. Um, if you find it that when you engage the drive, it has a slight clunk to it and or if you go to push a machine forward and you hear that grunching noise that everyone talks about. Whenever I see these machines for sale, they always seem to say um, slight crunching on, cylinder, on, on drive gear or can't push forward, that sort of stuff. So if you can find these Atco band moles and they sell for really good money in the areas uh, where they have good lawns, um, you can then do that fix quite quick. So I'm now pretty successful with regards on these Atco band morals. Um, and I will be looking for more of them because they do sell for good money, although the engines and the, the carburetors can be a bit troublesome at times. But mine runs lovely. A1, drive cuts well, uh, cylinder cuts well, drive works as well, all the things it should do, and it will sell at six o'clock tonight, so super, super happy. If you enjoyed this little um, episode of Mixed Muzz and find it helpful, give us a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set your notifications to all, that way you'll be told one time a video or two of them on my Saturday night wiki live stream where we talk about small engines and any other occurrences that are happening around the world. So come and join us. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take care easy.